Are you ready for some great meal ideas? Well, come along with me while we go through this week's What's for Dinner. Great, easy, simple recipes for weeknight meals. Hello, family and friends. I'm Susan, and welcome to my home. On this week's menu, we have lazy lasagna, taco nachos, chicken parmesan sliders, and chicken quesadillas. And it's Monday night, and tonight we're going to be making some lazy lasagna. Another one of my 20-minute meals, and I give you some pointers on how to make it even easier. Don't use the frozen lasagna. Use the lasagna that's in the refrigerated section where the deli is. They cook a whole lot quicker, and they're almost pre-cooked. I mean, all you've got to do is basically just warm them up, but I'll show you how to do that. So, let me get my ponytail up, and let's get to cooking. And this is what you call lazy lasagna. You'll need a little bit of garlic salt, some Italian seasoning. I've got some spaghetti sauce with the meat already in it. I've got these four cheese raviolis. They're not frozen. They're just in the uh, deli section. I have a big old thing of mozzarella cheese, which I'm going to use. A little bit of Parmesan and some cottage cheese. Now let's get to making a small pan of lazy lasagna. Do this just about like we do my regular lasagna, but the very easy way. I've got the spaghetti sauce with the meat already in it, so you don't have to worry about making meat or cut or cooking meat. That way, it'll make it easy for you. I put a layer down on the bottom. Now, the next thing is to open up the ravioli. I'm going to go ahead and place those into the tomato sauce. Now I've got that taken care of. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more of the spaghetti sauce on top. I wanna make sure it's well covered because this will help soften up those raviolis. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of Italian seasoning on top. A little sprinkle. I'm going to put a little sprinkle of garlic salt. And I mean, just a dab. You don't need much. There we go. Now, the next thing is going to be the Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to put a layer of cottage cheese on top or ricotta, whichever one you prefer. Now I am gonna add a little bit more of the spaghetti sauce to some areas that need a little bit more, like right here on the corners. I like to make sure they are well covered. Now the last thing is the mozzarella cheese. And I'm just gonna give the top of it a good coating. Because this is just gonna melt, that's all we need. And there we go. I've got the oven set for 350 degrees. I'm gonna put it in for about 10 minutes and we'll see where we're at. And this took all of maybe five. The cheese is nicely melted. Now you can let it get brown on top or put it on broil if you'd like to, to, to uh, brown it up even more than it is. But I left this in probably about 15 minutes. So five minutes to put together, 15 minutes to get it cooked. And it is completely done and bubbling actually. So it's good and it's ready to serve. So let me get this plated up. And here you go, lazy lasagna. You get it as brown on top as you like it and then serve it up, and I've got a little bit of a side salad with some ranch dressing on the side. And it's what's for supper, Monday night. And it's Tuesday night, and tonight we're gonna make something quick, easy, and fast. 20 minutes or less, taco nachos. You can do them a couple different ways. You can do just the taco meat and put them on the actual chips and put the cheese over top, or you can put it out on a uh, plate and put it in the oven and let the cheese melt. We don't do the cheese melt thing around here. We just put the cheese on top and let it roll. <laughs> so let's get going on making the this taco meat so we can make some taco nachos. And let me get this ponytail up because, yeah, it's starting to bug me. And let's get cooking. The pan's nice and hot. I'm going to put in about a pound of hamburger meat. And I'm going to go ahead and let this be browning up. And then once it browns, I'm going to drain it. And put some taco seasoning in it, some onions, some whatever else I decide to do. So let this, this get, get let's get this thing a cooking up so we can get some taco nachos going. Already got the hamburger meat. That didn't even take 10 minutes. It's already ready. 
going to go ahead and put some taco seasoning on it, as you see right there. A little bit of water in that to help that marinate in real quick. Because we're doing it hurry up style. We're doing an HU hurry up style. I'm going to go ahead and put some onions in real quick and let that be cooking up in this. You see that thing just going and I'm going to cover it up because that's the secret. Covering it up helps keep the heat in. It makes it cook quicker and I don't have a correct lid for that pan but it works. Give you about a minute or two and we'll come back and see where we're at. Woo. And it's a going full blast. So it's about time to see how the onions are starting to turn opaque. And that didn't take but a minute. But it's about time to make those nachos here in just a second. So let's get all the accoutrement out. That way we'll have all our stuff to put on the nachos. And then we'll start plating. And let's fill those taco nachos. Put on a plate. Like I said, you can put this on a plate and get it in the oven and heat it up if you want to. Or you can just put some on a plate and make you a little thing of taco nachos, which is what I'm doing. You could add corn to it. You could add beans to it. Danny is a purist. He likes just the bare it's it, accessories on this, nachos. Let me go ahead and put some taco meat on the nacho chips. Green, a little bit of red, a little bit of taco sauce, some onion, some sour cream. About done with this sour cream. It's about over with. All right, and a little bit of cheese. Like I said, if you wanted to put this in before you put the sour cream on, and put some cheese and heat it up and let the cheese melt, you could. Otherwise, there you go. Taco nachos. It's what's for supper. Tuesday night. It's Wednesday night, guys, and we're going to be making some quick, simple, easy Parmesan sliders. Some uh, Hawaiian rolls and some already cooked chicken breast. All you got to do is put them in the microwave, warm them up real quick, and then pop them on the Hawaiian rolls with a few other things, side salad on the side, and you got a meal in less than 20 minutes. So come on along with me. Let's get to making some simple, easy chicken parmesan sliders okay and here is the quick easy meal for tonight it is parmesan chicken sliders i've got some mozzarella cheese that i'm going to put on there this is the um, aldi's chicken that kind of tastes like chick-fil-a i went ahead and put it in the fridge and let it defrost and just put it in the microwave for like five minutes or less probably about ten two two to three minutes just till it's nice and defrosted and warm you don't want it to be chewy on the outside so watch how much time you use I've got some King's Hawaiian rolls uh, so go on the sliders I've got a little bit of garlic powder I've got some Italian seasoning and of course I've got some traditional spaghetti sauce and we're gonna have a little Caesar salad on the side so let's get to making this easy 20 minute meal Let's go ahead and get the sliders done. The oven has preheated at 350, so all I have to do is get the sliders complete. And I'm gonna put a good little bit of um, spaghetti sauce on here. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of Italian seasoning on here. Just one little bit. Just give a little extra oomph and a little bit of garlic powder. I just put some on the bottom. All right, I'm gonna cut them up into sections. That way there is a little bit on each section. Now let me put some mozzarella on top of that. And I'm gonna use a piece on every two. That way it's gonna get good and melty. 
All right. Now, I'm going to put it in the oven for about five to ten minutes just till the cheese melts. You don't need to have it too much, but just till the cheese melts. And I'll bring it out whenever it's done. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get the salad prepared. And here we go. Here are the chicken parmesan sliders. I'm gonna go ahead and get them on each of the plates and get some salad and we'll cut into them. Okay, and here we go. The sliders on the plate. I'm gonna put a little bit of salad on the plate too to go with it. And then I'll cut them apart. So each slider has its own little bit of stuff. That's why it's important to keep it to where each of the edges are together that way you can cut a slider good let me make sure I got that completely separated and I do I don't know if you can see that but look at that look at that cheese and the chicken there you go in 20 minutes and you've got a great little meal and it didn't take long I tell you and this is what's for dinner Wednesday night this is how simple this can be um, if you're going to use Chicken breast, use four. I've got chicken tenderloins. I'm going to use two, four, six, seven, eight. I'm going to use about eight chicken tenderloins. If I can fit them all down in here. I like to put them in the bottom. See if I can get them layered in the bottom here. All right. Eight chicken tenderloins down there in the bottom. The next thing is taco seasoning. I'm going to use one packet of taco seasoning, or you know me, I've got the big thing. I'm going to just pour some in. Eyeball it until I think it looks right. That's about right. And the can of Rotel. Now, I am going to add about half a can of water to this. You don't need a lot just so it doesn't burn on the bottom because those chicken breasts are still frozen. And whenever they thaw out and cook, they will make more water. So you do need a little bit of water on the bottom <clears throat> just to make sure that it doesn't burn to the bottom. Put the top on and turn it on low for the whole time I'm at work, which is about eight hours. And come home and you'll have taco meat that you'll be able to shred simple pop it in the pop it in the uh, crock pot in the morning come home and two or three minutes and you've got a meal and it's thursday and we're going to make another quick and easy meal this time it's going to be some chicken quesadillas i wound up putting the chicken in the crock pot this morning added a can of rotel and some taco seasoning like i always do then when you come home, all you got to do is put the chicken on the tortillas and put whatever you want on the inside and then get them heating up. So, my ponytail is already up. Let's get to making a fast meal. Okay, and here is the crock pot I came back home to. Let me go ahead and loosen up the sides. I'm going to turn it down on warm. And right there's, ooh, lousy, lousy. I just steamed up the lens and there's what the chicken meat's looking like right now what i do whenever i get home is i take two forks and i basically shred the chicken meat and that's just so that it will get down into those juices that the chickens let off while it was cooking i told you they were frozen and they would make a lot of juice you didn't need to add much just enough to the bottom to coat it so it didn't stick which is exactly what i did so now, I've got this on warm. Don't need to add anything else to it. It's all good. We just need to put the top back on, wait for Danny to get home, and serve it up. Because that's how easy supper is tonight. I've got everything ready to make the chicken quesadillas. I'm going to basically just put one tortilla in the pan. Now I'm going to put some chicken meat in the tortilla. I'm trying to drain it out as best I can. And whenever you put it in the crock pot in the morning and it comes out, it makes for easy cooking that night. Put 
Now I'm going to let this heat up for just a second, just to get the tortilla warm, and then we'll finish up the quesadilla. Now that we've got everything on the quesadilla and it's warming up, we can go ahead and put some little bit of cheese on the quesadilla. I'll put a little bit of red. And green. And a little bit of taco sauce. Now I'm going to put the top on top of the quesadilla. And cover it up. And let it heat just a minute so the cheese will melt. And I'll show you how I flip the quesadilla. Okay, and we've got it pretty much done. Let's get it off of the, out of the pan and on the plate. Let's go ahead and add some more cheese to that nice hot quesadilla. So it can melt up. I don't have any onion in it, so you can put a little onion on the outside. A little bit more taco sauce on the outside. And some sour cream. And you know I make ugly sour cream things on these things. There you go. Chicken quesadilla. It's ready to eat. And it's what's for supper. Thursday night. That chicken quesadilla was so good. Y'all have got to make some. It is so easy. Don't forget to come back again next Sunday for another four quick, easy meal ideas. This coming week, we're going to be having kid-friendly meals. Quick, easy, simple, and apparently kid-approved. So, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We would love it if you'd become part of our channel's family. And until next week, have a great week. Don't forget to click that link below and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And let our family be a part of your family.